Why is it that when we look back on the past, it feels so much more rich and meaningful now than it did back then? We usually feel deeply emotional and nostalgic about the past, though when we were living it, it felt like just another day. We often don't fully realize or appreciate what we really have until we no longer have it anymore. That's because each moment of our lives is special in its own way, whether it feels that way or not. And I'm not saying any of this to be cheesy, but my hope for this video is to maybe wake some of you up out of the autopilot state that you may have not really realized that you've been in for however long. You may just be moving through life sort of in a program, just doing the same things every day, not really putting much attention towards those things anymore because you're so used to doing them. You might just be used to the sights that you see every day and the people that you interact with every day. And you may not really be appreciating or cherishing these moments as you're living through them. But I can almost assure you that one day when you look back on this time period of your life in the future, it's going to feel very special, regardless of the challenges that you may be going through right now. Because we always view the past with a much more special and meaningful light because the past is gone. So therefore, once it's gone, we realize the significance within each of those simple moments, the significance within our current circumstances at that time. Each moment of our lives holds some sort of significance in his own way. And when we learn to recognize that significance in each of our ordinary days, we live a much happier life and we generally become much happier people because there's more fulfillment and meaning to each of our days. Believe it or not, this year will likely hold some sort of special feeling to you in the future when you look back on it for whatever reason simply because you will never be in this exact moment of time again. And that's not something to be sad about, neither should we fear aging either, but it's that remembrance that helps us become more present to our lives, to fully take in each moment of our lives. You think it's just another day in your life, but it's not just another day. It's the one day that was given to you today. That's one of my favorite quotes by Louis Schwartzberg, I believe his name is from the Gratitude short film. It's literally a six minute video about gratitude, but I always come back to it when I wanna to remember to be more present in the moment. So if the past is so special to us now, why didn't we see it then? Well, we're often not truly living in the moment. We're often living on autopilot, following the same program of our everyday. Some of us stuck in a state of anxiety or stress, and always replaying the past or worrying about the future, always awaiting the next thing in our lives. I'm guilty of doing that too, or feeling anger about something. But most of all, we're just busy being busy. We're always so busy. We live in such a busy society because we have to work to live. And of course, that's not something that we can escape from. That's just how the world works but it is something that maybe doesn't have to dictate our lives as much anymore. When we start to become more aware of how these programs are really affecting us as human beings, how this busy culture is just making time fly by, causing us to be mentally checked out constantly. But this isn't supposed to be a depressing video at all. I mean, it, it really is just to awaken you back into the present moment and out of your autopilot state because sometimes we just need those reminders. It's possible to be busy and productive, but to also take a few moments to take in what we are doing and really be there for it and to show more appreciation more often for the people in our lives and for each of the little things that bring us a little bit of pleasure or satisfaction or happiness. Even through our challenges, there are likely moments or aspects of this time period that we will look back on and reminisce about. I remember around a year and a half ago or so, I meditated in my room and I had a really significant experience. I went deeper into this meditation than I typically do. Maybe I was just more relaxed, but whatever the reason, it felt as if I shifted to the future version of myself and like that future version of myself was looking back on that version of me that was sitting in that chair in that meditation, if that makes sense. And I was just feeling such deep 
gratitude and admiration for the girl that was sitting in that chair for all of the lessons that she was learning and all of the growth that she was doing as a person. And I just felt flooded with love and admiration for that version of myself, despite what felt like the lack of growth and despite the insecurities and the challenges that I was trying to get through at that time. It just made me remember that one day I'm gonna be old and I'm going to be looking back on those young years of my life when I was just learning and growing and trying to make it. And every single one of those details of my life at that time just felt so incredibly special to me in that moment, even though it might not have necessarily felt very beautiful at that time. But we don't have to have a deep spiritual experience or go super deep into meditation to have that appreciation for our current circumstances. It may not always stick with us and often it doesn't, but whenever we do get those reminders to be more present in the moment, waking up out of that autopilot state as often as we can just feels so much better than completely zooming through life and never taking a moment to think about any of this. Moral of the video is don't wait until your life is a photograph to realize its beauty and significance. Make a small effort to be more in the moment during each daily task, each conversation, each moment. And again, even with this awareness, it's very difficult for most people to actually be present in every moment of their lives. Understandably, I'm stuck on autopilot more than half the time. But slowly over time, I see myself making improvements over the years and becoming more and more present as time goes versus when I used to just live completely in my head. I mean, I would miss out on so many details around me. I would look back on things and remember hardly much about it. There were so many concerts I saw that I just completely forgot every detail about because I just wasn't really there in the moment. I struggled a lot with depression and anxiety. I still do, but it was a lot worse back then during this time in my life. So I was just constantly living in my head. You know how when you have like a daily commute somewhere and one day you realize that you've been passing something every single day and you literally did not notice until this moment and you're just like, how was I so in my head that I missed this thing that was right there? You know, maybe it's a sign or a building or a street name. It's those moments that do feel frustrating because you do feel mad at yourself for not being present to this beautiful human experience. But it's also those moments where we learn to start paying attention. And it really starts sticking more that like, wow, I need to pay more attention in life. I need to be here in the now because the now is all I have. So how can we start making more of a conscious effort to be more present to our life? Try to always take in the sceneries around you and notice all of the details. Maybe you're just spending the day with your mom and you wanna be more in the moment and remember this memory with her. Maybe you could notice the color of lipstick that she's wearing, the shirt that she's wearing, and maybe the color of the sky in that moment. Also, try to be more in your body in each moment whenever you remember to do this because often we don't, right? Often we shift in and out of being present back in our heads and then remembering to be present and again and that's all perfectly normal but whenever we can remembering to ground ourselves in our bodies again feeling the sensations of what it feels like to be alive to be breathing feeling ourselves breathe in and out or feeling how our clothes feel on our skin or feeling the air touch our skin, feeling the earth underneath our feet. And this really helps those of us who are struggling with anxiety or stress, maybe social anxiety. When you're feeling really stuck in your head and just stuck in mental chatter and you just start to ground yourself more in your body when you feel the ground underneath your feet, it just brings you more in the moment because you can't really simultaneously be in your head and in your body. You may start interacting with others differently, giving off a different energy, a more positive grounded energy. And people might start noticing that positive difference within you because it's just a completely different energy when you're more grounded into the present moment, enjoying the moments that you're having with others and enjoying the conversations that you're having with others rather than feeling so nervous and stressed out about what that person thinks of you or how the conversation is going. Always acknowledge the things that you appreciate in some way, whether they make you feel happy or peaceful or satisfied or joyful. Really acknowledge those things. For example, if you love the taste of your coffee, take a moment to feel appreciation for the taste of that coffee. Or maybe when you wake up in the morning and 
You see the sunrise outside of your window and it just looks so beautiful. Take a moment to appreciate that sunrise. Or maybe you're wearing your favorite jacket today and you love how it makes you look, you love how comfy it is. Just taking a minute to really acknowledge and appreciate the joy that that jacket brings you. When you start to acknowledge the things that bring you joy and take some time to really appreciate their existence, you start noticing more things that bring you joy. And more and more joyful things start coming into your experience. Also a big thing is try not to distract your mind so much. When I was a teenager, I was so terrified of being in my thoughts that I was constantly numbing my mind with anything that I could. I was always either binging some Netflix show or scrolling on social media or constantly smoking weed or drinking or hanging out with friends. I was just always looking for ways to distract my mind. I didn't realize that I was doing that at the time, but that is exactly what I was doing. But that makes sense why my memories of my childhood and being a teenager feel so incredibly blurry to me. For so many of them, I wasn't really present for them. I was constantly distracting my mind. I know it may be tempting to constantly distract yourself, especially during times when we don't wanna think about what's going on in our lives, but constantly distracting our minds only creates this buildup of emotion that gets stored in our body and ends up manifesting in a lot of different issues. And we really don't realize how much those stored emotions are really affecting us and keeping us in this autopilot state where we're never really present to our lives. Because if you can't be present to those feelings and those thoughts, they're not going to be released. They're just gonna keep storing in your body deeper into your subconscious. I guess this might sound contradictory to what I just said, but we also have many moments where we're just stuck in our heads because of this mental chatter that doesn't seem to stop, especially in those of us that experience anxiety. But often it's just having quite pointless thoughts that we're just getting stuck in our heads about when it's just pointless to be living in this movie in our minds instead of living in the present movie of our lives. So when you notice yourself on a rampage of thought, consciously choose to end that cycle right then and there and shift yourself back into the present moment. And as I said before, there are gonna be many times when we don't catch ourselves, that's normal. I don't think any one of us can successfully be present in every single moment. But from this point on, anytime that you do catch yourself in the middle of a train of thought that's just not serving you, that's just taking you out of the present moment and keeping you stuck in your head, just choose to end that thought right then. Don't even finish the thought and redirect your focus back to what is around you, noticing the details around you, noticing the scenery, feeling your body again, grounding yourself back into your body. When you start to become more aware of these patterns, it's gonna start seeming ridiculous how often we get stuck in these programs. So you may feel really thankful to start noticing it and to start stopping those programs because they're dictating your life and they don't have to. Making an everyday effort to be more present to my life and implementing more mindfulness practices has really changed my life and my mental health. Often the root of our suffering, whether it's depression, anxiety, stress, insecurity, often the root of our suffering is our thoughts. For those of you that struggle with feeling happy and feeling at peace, I know that making a conscious effort to be more present in the moment is really going to help you in significant ways. It may not completely take away the sadness or the pain or the stress, but it will leave you feeling much more fulfilled at the end of every day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video inspired you or added value to you in any way. And if it did, give it a like and subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you a part of my safe space community. But other than that, I really hope that I see you in the next video.